luminous performances. That's what you want to hear, isn't it? From humble beginnings in Wellington to playing to almost half a million people worldwide, Indian Ink is arguably New Zealand's most successful theatrical export. To celebrate their last incredible 20 years, they've been on their biggest nationwide tour of the Pickle King ever. But to share more about the show now, please welcome to the cafe Kalyani Nagarajan and Andrew Ford. Welcome, guys. Yes, Yay. welcome. Welcome, welcome. That was a great little intro there. It gave me a real clear picture of what it's all about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's been a lot of fun. And this is your debut, is it? Yeah, first time working with a company. I mean, I've known of the company for, for years and years and years, so a real honour to be invited to be part of it. And it's, yeah, a great company to work for. Yeah, I guess, because, I, you know, if you're on the outside as an actor and you're looking in towards what they've done over the last yeah. 20 years, it is incredible. What do you think makes it so mesmerising for people when they get along to see the shows? Well, it's just the, the style that they have, the mask work which they use, which is... Um, unique in New Zealand really and the kind of stories they tell, the, the comedy but also quite moving and the live music, just lots of different elements which mm. make them really special shows. Now mm. the Pickle King has been around for what 15 years I think it was first performed wasn't yeah, it? Yeah yeah 15 years but ago. You've done a tour around the country and now you're starting? We start in Auckland on the 2nd of August. Excellent. And so we've done pretty much like 36 shows, yeah. month off, another 36 shows. Wow. So, so it's massive. What is it actually about the Pickle King? So it's a play about um, love, death and preserves. Um, that's, that's what it says. Yeah, um, tagline, yeah. Uh, no, the story is about Sasha, who I play. Um, she's been blinded in a chemical accident in India, which is based on a true story oh, of the Bhopal accident. Um, and so, yeah, it's a story of like bringing in the Indian truth and putting it into New Zealand. But Sasha believes that um, everything she loves will die, which is... Kind of true in real well, life. Yeah. <laughs> um, but um, well, that's the beauty of it. But what we travel through her journey, and she goes through all these these awful things that happen to her. But the story is about her overcoming those things, and her loving, and being free to love, and being brave to love, no matter what. So it's a comedy fairy tale, is what we like to call it. I'm the princess. Right. <laughs> and uh, Vanessa Kumar, who is the other actress in this play, is the other princess. <laughs> oh, That's okay. Yeah. Okay, now, and Andrew, what, what role do you play? I heard you play the villain. I you am, seem too yeah. nice to play the villain. Oh, well, well, not with my mask on. Right. I have a mask, fat suit, costume. It makes me quite an intimidating figure. Don't and where does it. the villain fit into this? Well, the. You need a good villain, it's, always. It's set in a hotel and a guest checks in, which is where um, Kalyani's character works, and she becomes convinced that he's the Grim Reaper come to take her mm. and he certainly is a pretty creepy guy right and so you find out eventually a bit more about him but yeah that's that's how he fits in and and how have you modernized have you done anything different from the last time it was shown say 15 20 years ago yeah well the beauty of this piece is instead of a love story between a man and a woman it's a love story between two women oh okay the yeah, two okay. princesses yeah the two princesses ah. the, yeah, the most incredible thing about it is that that's not what the story is about mm. and that shows how much new zealand's progressed in 15 years. Yeah. You go, that's not what it's about. It's, the story is about immigration, migrants. You go, there are taxi drivers who have a PhD in like... Yeah, well, there is, isn't there? Yeah, mm. and so there's a cardiothoracic surgeon that works as a night porter. You go, those are the relevant issues still. You also wear masks in mm. it, so how hard is it to act in masks? Because you obviously can't rely on your facial expressions ah, yeah. much, can you? It's, it's challenging yeah. because we do convey so much through our facial expressions. Yeah. So instead, what we're having to rely on is our voices and our whole bodies. Yeah. Yeah. And of course our eyes, are, uh, and, and so it's challenging in a way, but it's also really rewarding, um, exhausting, but really uh, satisfying doing a show um, where you're exhausted and, you know, I get very sweaty in my fat suit particularly, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it also gives you permission to be really big and over the top, and that's a lot of fun. I bet it is. And, and that's a great thing. I mean, you know, hats off to you guys. I love the fact you come in on the cafe and you talk to us a lot about the Indian Ink yeah. shows that you're doing because yeah. it is, you know, it's, it's teaching everybody that there is some brilliant theatre to go and see. You've been touring around the South Island and if you want to go and continue to see, the National Tour of Indian Ink's Pickle King will be coming to Auckland and Wellington. And for all the details, you can head along to their website, indianink.co.nz. So thank you so yeah. much, guys, thank for coming you. in. Thank you. Best of luck.